So using sub panels in lab view allows you to embed front panels of VIs into another VI meaning that this VI can call other VIs and their front panels would be visible in this sub panel. We will see how that is done in this video. So first we will write create a, um, a state for our state machine that will be handling this uh, sub panel. Let's turn it into a type def. Open type def. Let's write the states. Edit items. We'll be using four states. Initialize. Insert BIs. Run BIs. And exit. Okay. And let's save this type def let's call it states okay save it let's save our vi as well Now let's add a while loop. And a case structure. Let's connect our type def to the case selector. Let's add case for every value. Let's go to initialize state. Here we will be current vi is path. Then we will be building building parts of the VIs that we will be inserting now we will use an array of strings Copy and paste. Let's uh, create. Let's turn it into a array.
control C control V control C control V let's delete this one Open VA reference. Let's run this code three times so we get three references and then uh, we will be storing these references in a shift register for later use. And our next case would be let's replace it external with the shift register and our next state would be insert VIs. So we are done coding and we will not be closing this loop in this state that we will be doing from exit state. Let's fix these uh, VI names they don't have the extension will give errors when we call these VIs so let's fix it before we move on to the next state which is insert VIs so we will be inserting the VI in this sub panel and from we will continue this one and from here we will be going to next state which is run VIs we turn it into default value use default if unwired and to select particular VI let's create a control and let's create a menu ring edit items so these are the three uh, VIs that we will be inserting into our sub panel which I, I have already created let me show you what these, these does the first one is current time what it does is 
is just show you the current system time the second one is shows a random number on the graph and the third one shows you a uh, it generates a sine wave and then shows it on a graph so let's add these items to our ring which we will use for selecting one of these three VIs show time random numbers and sign wave let's go to the code and as the user selects whichever value he selects we will use that value to index through these VIs the reference of which we have already obtained and we will pass this reference to this function uh, which is insert VIs into the sub panel and for our next state we will be uh, running the VIs so run VI is the method we need so let's go to run VI's case pass these references through and uh, whichever VI we have selected we need to store its uh, reference VI. Uh, we will not be waiting till it's done and we will not be auto disposing. We will, we will do that in the next state and from this state we will be going to let's continue this reference as well And from this state, we will be going to the last state, which is exit. So let's create a front panel button, which we will use to hold this loop till Till we are, um, we have decided uh, what to, uh, when to exit. So we will create a event for this stop button, which will hold this loop, and then the button is pressed. We will just simply exit from this VI. And 
let's just close these references as well this reference to and we will just create constant it will do nothing because we will be exiting from this case anyway so now coding is uh, complete So let's test this VI and we have got an error. The error is because of this function. Uh, we shouldn't be using this one, current VI's path, and we should be replacing it with the application directory function. So let's run it again. Time is being shown and we get another error because we have already closed this VI so just remove this uh, reference because this reference is already included in this one and we have closed it so let's go save and let's go back so run the code show time is selected and time is being shown so let's stop it let's select random numbers and there the random numbers are showing let's click stop and select sine wave run the vi and our sine wave vi's front panel is now visible so this is how you can use sub panels to create a main vi which calls other vi's front panel and they are shown inside these um, Sub panels. Thanks for watching.